Yes, welcome back to the second start of the program, the conversation coming to you from TV 360 here in Lagos, Nigeria. My name still remains Nelson Kujumi, and I still have with me in the studio uh, Peter Clever Kwara. Peter, thank you for remaining on the conversation with me. Thank you. Yes, uh, on this stanza of the program, we want to look at the issue of uh, security. Uh, in the last couple of days, you know, the public space has been awash with security threats, with, you know, secu uh, security challenges. Uh, just yesterday, the governor of Plateau State uh, declared a, a dogs to don't coffee in, in a Magu local government. And um, one of the things that has come out from this um, security challenges is that a lot of these problems are localized. And uh, when you find problems like this that are localized, if you ask me, the best solution to these problems will be solved locally. Because um, the reason for the latest uh, imposition of curfew by the governor of Plateau State was that um, we had that uh, a, a, a cattle rearer and you know, some locals had an altercation and before you knew it, it became a breakdown of law and order. But thank God the security agencies were able to rise to the occasion. So on the conversation, it is always our belief. It is our role to educate and you know, inform the populace that look, for the opt-in time, security is everybody's business. Uh, the, the other time, on, on December 24th, on the eve of uh, Christmas, there was an attack on some communities in Plateau State. And lo and behold, even before the security agencies came up with you know, uh, their invest the outcome of their investigation, the media, the media was already awash that, oh, it was carried out by full and men, blah, blah, blah. Only for further developments on that security breach in that part of the country to reveal from you know, uh, victims testimony, who now came up and said, look, this attack, this security breach was caused by our people. So when security breach occurred, we must always be ready to call it the name it's supposed to be called, that this act was carried out by criminals rather than saying, oh, it was carried out by Igbo men, oh, it is full and men. I find it very distasteful. Because I recollect under former President uh, Muhammad Ubari, every crime in this world, according to a section of the media, became uh, the, uh, became uh, could be ascribed to full and men. Even when a man beats the wife at home, if, before you find out which uh, what is the cause of that quarrel, the next thing you see on the pages of some newspaper, like, oh, a full and man, man beat the wife to death, you know. So for me, I think um, as much as we want to commend the government for adopting the kinetic approach, which is the use of force, I think most importantly to address this issue of security threats, kidnapping, banditry, ritualism, and what have you, we need to involve the local. I was watching TV this morning, and one man said, what is the, the cause of this crisis? is as a result of lack of trust between people living in the same community. People who want to assume that where my right stops, they don't want to recognize that where my right stops is where the other man's right and begins. Starts. So for me, if you ask me once again, I think these security breaches can be traced to failure of parenting failure of community leaders because this crisis would have started on a smaller scale maybe within streets in a community but the elders there will fail in their responsibility to call the youth to order and today we can see the on the 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 huge volume of you know displacement of people from their homes loss of lives the, 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 the enmity, the pain, it is even, this crisis is even showing in people's hearts. We might, we might need uh, to employ a psychiatrist, you know, to debrief us of the trauma.
Uh, let me take it up. Um, actually, in any given society or country, there are bound to be security issues. Security uh, infractions are part of human group living. That is one thing we must accept. But then coming to our own climb here, I believe it is a multifaceted issue caused by a lot of things. Uh, we have um, identified inadequate parenting. We have ad uh, identified uh, um, negative socialization. Mm. We have identified Wrong social values. so many other things. You know, but the bottom line is this. People have to. I always have a saying, you know, that you can do nothing to safeguard a people that don't want to be safeguarded. Mm. So security is about us. It is it's about us. me. It is about me. Yeah. We have to decide that we need to be safeguarded before we can be safeguarded. Safe what yeah. does that imply? It now means that, like you say, security is everybody's business. business. In the advanced societies, you know, nothing happens within your environment that is out of place without you notifying security agencies. Yes. And security agencies will treat such information with utmost uh, um, professionalism. Seriousness, seriousness and professionalism. Now, what do we have here? We have people who are more uh, interested in politicizing security issues than dealing with insecurity. You know, people want to make more capital. People want to report it. Ah, insecurity, insecurity to make political capital, capital out, out of it. it. Yeah. And at the end of the day, security issues worsened. That's yes. insecurity issues worsened. You know, instead of people to deal with that. Now, we are having a rush of kidnapping here and there. People are now kidnapping for money. Ransom, yeah. Pay ransom, this and that. And the dangerous dimension was uh, introduced with the, those sisters that were kidnapped in, in Abuja. Buari, Abuja, the other day. Yeah. We are now, we have to resort to crowdfunding to fund ransom, ransom. which is very, very it's bad. Very you are sending a very serious and very dangerous uh, uh, notice to kidnap her, that you will be able to raise, money, will raise money by the reason you launch uh, crowdfunding for them to make money for, to meet kidnappers' demand. These are wrong. Now, I believe the government is, I think it is responding, but then security does not necessarily entail responding. It entails taking proactive measures, proactive measures to nip security issues on the board before they happen. I believe the government will need to do more. In terms of, <coughs> in terms of we training, and we directing security officials on crime, crime prevention. But crime the, prevention, but which we now take into uh, uh, cognizance, the people's own contribution, as in reporting crime scenes, reporting suspected crime scenes, and those reports taken serious by the various security agencies. Yes, uh, I was about going to the last part of your submission now on the conversation which is about the people's role. Yes. Because I want to make it clear. I, I've always advocated it and I've always, you know, emphasized it. I think I've, I've, even in the starting point, I think I've really said that, that see, you cannot do anything to guard the people who don't want, want to, to be, be guarded. So that means the people have to fully invest in security. Yes. People have to fully invest, not waiting for the government yes. to solve your security issue. Yes. You see a security situation, you walk into it, you say the government did not, not protect doing, yes. me. No, security does not work that way. The people have to protect themselves. Yes. And protecting yourself means taking proactive means to prevent crime. The, uh, proactive means maybe reporting incidences of before, uh, before uh, insecurity of before it gets out of hand. We have said that. But then again, let the government sustain the present attitude it has adopted to deal with this uh, kidnapping, rampant kidnapping. Yes, yes. I would like a situation where the government send all the truth to invade the forest. All these forests across well, Nigeria well, 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 with I'm, drones, I'm, with all equipments at their disposal. Let us flush out some of these elements. I'm yes. sure. I'm sure the government is looking in this direction. But most importantly, uh, the role of the citizen is very crucial because yes, the security agencies 
is people by human beings like you and I. They are not God, so they have their feelings. We can only assist them to do their job if we also play our part in securing ourselves. Well, thank you very much uh, for your uh, submission on the conversation this, mo this day, uh, Peter. I want to thank you. Well, that is where we want to call it a day on this uh, program for today, on this episode of The Conversation, coming to you live from TV360. Till we come away again next time, please continue to watch The Conversation on TV360 here in Lagos. Thank you, and bye-bye. Thank you.